Hey, I'm Vanessa Rachels and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. I make videos on bullet journaling and art creations like this draw with me that you guys are about to see. Um, I'd just like to also say a quick thank you for joining me because it really supports my channel when you watch my videos, so I can't thank you enough for that. But without any further ado, we're gonna jump straight into the video. So we're starting things off by lining my page with some washi tape so that I can peel it back later and have one of those nice crisp edges. And then I'm just jumping straight into my watercolor palette. And my watercolor palette isn't anything fancy, it's just kind of a cheaper one, but it works really great for what I want to use it for, so it's a great like budget watercolor, I would say. But as you can see, I'm just painting a bunch of circles and these are gonna make the shape for the ornaments for this design. And I'm trying to paint the circles next to other circles that are already wet so we get a bit of bleed from them just to get kind of that sort of effect, which is what I was going for. And then essentially, as you can see, we just flip the whole entire page with these circles. I decided to do ones that were of similar size, but if you want to recreate this, you can always, you know, do different sizes of circles and then you'll get a different look that will probably still look real nice. Next, I decided to jump into drawing and creating the design on top of the ornaments. So I decided to use inks and I used a gold and silver ink. I went in with the gold ink first and they are the Windsor and Newton inks. And I just kept the designs on top of the ornaments super simple with just four different designs. And I did that with both the gold and the silver, just stuck to those four same designs and put it on every single one of the ornaments. And I'm really happy with how the designs on top of the ornaments turned out. I think it looks really cute. And because it's like a pattern, even if you mess up a little bit somewhere because you stick to the same sort of design, you can't really notice it and it just looks real nice and cohesive as a whole. And then finally to finish off the drawing, I went in with my Jelly Roll pens in three different colors. A uh, green, kind of a like turquoise blue, and a pink. And with these, as you can see, I just added the strings and I made them squiggly and just random and I think it really just brought everything together. And I added the string onto the ornaments on every single one of the bulbs. And as a finished product, I'm really happy with how the whole entire design pattern kind of ended up looking. It's very whimsical Christmas-like and the shimmer off of the gold and silver designs on top of the bulbs just really adds that kind of dimension to the drawing. And honestly, I'm just a real fan of the shimmer. It just looks really pretty and pleasing. If you happen to recreate this Christmas look, please take me at Vanessa Rachels on Instagram. I would love to see all of your guys' recreations. But we've pretty much reached the end of this video. All that's left is to peel off the tape and expose those real nice, crisp, clean edges. Anyways, I had a lot of fun creating this look. It really got me in the Christmas spirit. I hope it helped you also get in the Christmas spirit. I hope you also enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And as always, thanks for joining me and watching my video. And come say hi in the comments down below and leave me any feedback as well if you have any. But if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a creation with Rach. And until next time, bye bye.